Yo, what is up, YouTube? It is Legend. Welcome back to another Black Ops Cold War update patch notes official video here on the channel. If you guys are new, make sure you hit that subscribe button, click on that bell to all so you don't miss out on my next video. So we got this mysterious secret Black Ops Cold War update that came out earlier in the day. Uh, update 135 is officially available to download to your console. It's about 6.3 gigs, and there's nothing in this update that is completely new. Um, Track Studios, they made a tweet today saying we are aware of and investigating crashes or black screens players may encounter on Battle.net on PC after receiving update 135. So Treyarch are aware of the crashing, the black screens that people are having within Black Ops Cold War's new update. But you guys can see right here, this is what the PC players that use Battle.net are going through when they try and load up Black Ops Cold War. The game will just fucking crash completely. So yeah, I hope you guys get this resolved really quickly so you guys can keep playing Black Ops Cold War. I also was wondering about what they did else in this update. A guy named John on Twitter replied back to me saying that they are hiding people's profiles in game. And I said, what do you mean? He said, you cannot go on someone's profile in game even when you are on the same platform. It's not good. If I wanted to say this, you guys released a 6.3 gigabyte update just to break people's PCs and... Now you can't visit people's profiles when you're on the same console. And MPFirst.com, they said Treyarch released update 135 on all platforms. This is another unannounced patch. So don't expect anything from the outside of backend fixes. Yeah, you guys truly fixed Black Ops Cold War with update 135 because it was the total opposite. Okay, it broke the game on PC, but hopefully things get resolved like I said, but... You guys also have a couple of different websites out here talking about 135's patch notes, saying they fix UI issues, address network connection improvements, fix general stability and performance improvements, address various game crashing bugs and other minor fixes. Yeah, I like the fact that you guys come up with your own patch notes. I mean, this patch notes video that I'm making is unofficial because Trek Studios don't really work on this game anymore because your two content is technically done. Now, a lot of people are wondering, will Raid Off uh, Operator come back to Black Ops Cold War? I would love to see him come back. But with the Ukraine and Russia situation, they removed him from the game completely. They scrapped him and they still gave us the Scythe melee weapon that you're looking at right here, which was supposed to be included within his own bundle. Now, we are approaching the month of October. Hopefully, uh, we get a haunting event for Vanguard or black ops cold war i highly doubt it will be on black ops cold war but hopefully for vanguard season five reloaded is going to be happening this week so that's really all it for black ops cold war update 135 i hope you guys all enjoyed this video i think we covered everything in this video if i missed something out on this video you guys let me know in the comment section down below there may be like one or two bundles coming to the game but that's really all it so i'll catch you guys on my next video thank you for watching and i'm out peace